What's going on guys? We're back here today with another fantasy basketball mock draft. Today we're doing a 12 team categories league with the seventh pick. Before we get into the video, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, especially if this video helped you out. So Jokic went first, Giannis second, Embiid third, Luka fourth, KD fifth, and Tatum sixth. I really like Harden this year. I think he's in great shape, could put up great numbers. I think he could score a little bit more. The assists might even go up higher. The threes are very underrated here. I think he could hit way more than that. And we always love his free throw percentage in fantasy leagues. We already built around Steph Curry. So I think I'm going to go through Harden this time around. See how that shapes up. There goes LaMelo, Steph Curry, Cat, Trey Young, Lillard, Tyrese, LeBron, Paul George, Kyrie, and John Morant. So we have a couple options here. There's D-Book, 27 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 2.73s, and about a steal a game. Uh, would have loved to grab someone like PG. Uh, but he went a little bit earlier than us. AD is also makes a lot of sense here. Kind of get a good power forward. Doesn't hit the three all that often. Did before and he just went, I don't know what happened to his shot. But uh, also adds blocks. He's just that he can't stay healthy. And that really concerns me. I think we're going to have to pass up on players like AD and Sabonis. And grab Booker, the scoring, the threes, the assists. He just does a little bit of everything. Let's go Book. There he goes, Pascal Siakam, AD, DeJounte Murray, Anthony Edwards, Darius Garland, Kawhi Leonard, Jimmy Butler, Rudy Gobert, Bam Adebayo, Sabonis, Fred Van Fleet, and DeMar DeRozan. Now we have a couple options here. I see Donovan Mitchell, uh, 23 points projected with 5.6 assists, 1.3 steals, and about 3 threes. And also Bradley Beal, 24 points, about 4.5 rebounds, and 6 assists, 1 steal, and 2 threes. Bradley Beal is an amazing 3-point shooter. Just doesn't happen to take a lot. I do also like Shea over here. Doesn't hit a lot of threes, but it gets a good amount of steals. A good to good amount of assists and scores more than both Bradley Beal and Donovan Mitchell. I think I'm going to go Donovan Mitchell here. He just makes the most sense into what we like. Hits a lot of threes, gets good steals, and decent assists. So let's go Donovan Mitchell. There goes Zion, Cade Cunningham, Bradley Beal. Vucevic, Shea Gilligas, Alexander, Porzingis, Jalen Brown, Chris Paul, DeAndre Ayton, and Drew Holiday. I see Chris Middleton here, Evan Mobley, uh, Brandon Ingram's a solid pick. Miles Turner could be great if we're looking to add some blocks to our team. Could also get traded to the Lakers where he'd be playing next to AD. Terry Rozier is solid, Zach Levine is solid. A lot of good players in the middle rounds here. I think I'm between either Zach Levine because of his three-point potential or Chris Middleton here. Uh, the threes and the steals really pop out to me right off the bat and gets a good amount of assists. Brandon Ingram wouldn't be a bad choice either. However, the steals and the threes are a little bit lacking. I think we're going Chris Middleton here. There goes Julius Randle, Mobley, Scotty Barnes, Zach Levine, Robert Williams, Miles Turner, Jared Allen, Brandon Ingram, De'Aaron Fox, Jonas Valanciunas, Terry Rozier, and Jalen Brunson. All right, so we got Desmond Bain, CJ McCollum, OG Anunoby, Christian Wood, John Collins, as our top picks here. There's also Jakob Pato who we could grab, Wendell Carter. Desmond Bain likely won't make it through this round. CJ maybe will. John Collins probably won because they tend to grab a lot of bigs. Uh, OG probably will. I, th I don't think Pato will either. So I'm more tempted to go up, grab a big just because uh, we don't really have any big men on our team. Looking at it, we only have legit from point guard to small forward filled out. So we do need to grab some big men. I think Jakapato makes the most sense for our team. Actually, no, Wendell Carter probably makes more sense for our team. Well, Jakob also adds some blocking assistance, so that's kind of nice. Doesn't shoot amazing from the line, but we have Harden to take care of that. Pato does shoot uh, ridiculously well from the field. Let's go Pato. There goes Sangoon, Collins, Wood, Nurkic, Mikal Bridges, OG Anunoby, Bobby Portis, Jaron Jackson. Wendell Carter and Draymond Green would have taken Draymond Green as well. Great fantasy player, especially in categories leagues. So we do have CJ McCollum still here. Now I think it's impossible to pass on him. He's in line for a good year. The assist numbers I think are underrated. With Zion there, I think he'd do a little bit more damage. The scoring numbers might take a hit, but the efficiency numbers should be a lot better this year. Desmond Baines, another solid selection just because of his threes and steals. Uh, doesn't get too many assists, but shoots really well from the free throw line as well. But we're going to grab CJ McCollum here just because of his upside in assists. There goes Desmond Bain, Clint Capella, Mitchell Robinson, PJ Washington, Jalen Green, Kyle Lowry, Jordan Poole, 
Zubak, Clark, Al Horford, Jalen Smith, and Chris Boucher. Looking at the suggestions, um, Tyrese Maxey, Michael Porter, Ben Simmons are here, Tobias Harris as well. Really hard to pass up on Ben Simmons here. I do think Ben Simmons or Josh Giddy will eventually fall to us. I love grabbing either of these guys in the middle rounds because they're just so effective. Keldon Johnson is another guy I really like who is available. Um, Tobias Harris is also here. He'll most likely go. Michael Porter Jr. will most almost definitely go. Um, but we do have Harden, so I want to avoid Tobias Harris. Jamal Murray could be a good pickup here. Uh, will he make it? Probably make it to the next round. I don't think Michael Porter will, though, but I'm also kind of hesitant to draft him just because of his injuries. You know what? We're going to go either Ben Simmons or Josh Giddy. Let's go Josh Giddy because he does hit the three a little bit better and shoots better from the line. There goes Paolo Benchero, Isaiah Stewart, Michael Porter, Andre Drummond, Brooke Lopez, Mo Bamba, Andrew Wiggins, Rashawn Holmes, Nick Claxton, and Klay Thompson. Now we come to a point where I kind of feel comfortable taking Tobias, even if it does mean that we're stacking up in the Philadelphia department, just because we really need some power forward centers. Uh, Keldon Johnson is also a great pickup here. Uh, actually, I think we might actually go Keldon Johnson. Jeremy Grant will also likely be available in the next round. Keldon Johnson might as well. Tobias definitely won't be available in the next round, so let's take a shot. Let's grab Tobias, and if Keldon Johnson is available next round, we'll probably grab him. There goes Ben Simmons, Devin Vassell, James Wiseman, Onyeka Kongu, Franz Wagner, who I expect to have a great year, Isaiah Hardenstein, JaVale McGee, Isaiah Jackson, Daniel Gafford, Montrez Harrell, Steven Adams, and Marvin Bagley. So we actually have a choice here. We could go Keldon Johnson or Jeremy Grant. Now, I do expect Keldon Johnson to have a better scoring year and hit more threes, but Jeremy Grant adds so much in the defense department, so it is a question. However, it's too hard, I think, to pass up on Keldon Johnson's upside this year. So we're going to go Keldon Johnson. There goes Kyle Kuzma, Thomas Bryant, Pokusevsky, Buddy Heald, Walker Kessler, Kelly Olenek, Kevin Love, Isaiah Roby, Jeremy Grant, and Jonathan Kuminga. Looking at our team, we have a decent amount of small forwards and power forwards. Do you have one center? So that is something we do need to upgrade eventually. Uh, there are options like really nobody actually. No options here. Maybe Jalen Duran, but not really. With that being the case, I think we're going to grab either Jamal Murray or Marcus Smart here. Jamal Murray, definitely the better scorer. Could get a good amount of assists. The steals, the threes are there. I do think he might get rested a couple of games just because he came back from injury. But he has so much ability to score that I really can't pass him up. There goes Keegan Murray, Laurie Markkinen, Westbrook, Tyrese Maxey, Mason Plumlee, Gordon Hayward, Tyler Harrow, Colin Sexton, Marcus Smart, D'Lo, KPJ, and Jackson Hayes. We could grab Gary Trent, another three-point sniper and a good defender, 1.5 steals. Doesn't contribute much in the assist department. But I just saw RJ Barrett is still here. That is crazy. And he's actually projected to stay here until the next round. So let's take our shot with that. Let's grab Gary Trent. And let's see if RJ Barrett makes it to us in the next round. I think he might. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, let's grab Gary Trent. Let's see if RJ makes it to us. And he did. Wow. Kevin, Kevon Looney, Mike Conley, Lonzo, Brogdon, Jabari Smith, Herb Jones, Spencer Dinwiddie, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Jalen Suggs, Precious Achua. There's no way RJ Barrett should still be on the board. We're going to grab him. He should have gone much, much earlier. There goes Simons, Trey Jones, Josh Hart, Norman Powell, Lou Gensdorf, Monte Morris, Bones Highland, Cole Anthony, Sadiq Bay, Dylan Brooks, DeAnthony Melton, and Jaden Ivey. And I think we're going to round it all off with the jack of all trades. Robert Covington does a little bit of everything. Steals, threes, blocks, rebounds. Not Doesn't score too much, but gets a little bit of assist here and there. Another valuable player, probably Cam Johnson, starting at power forward for the Suns this year. Could do very well for us. But we're going to go jack of all trades with Rocco. John Wall, Kelly Oubre, Karis LeVert, Harrison Barnes, and Derek White round out the rest of the draft. Got an A on our draft. James Harden, D-Book, Donovan Mitchell, Chris Middleton, Tobias Harris, Kellen Johnson, Jakob Pato, CJ McCollum, Josh Giddy, Jamal Murray, Gary Trent, RJ Barrett, and Robert Covington round up our team. Very solid team. We do have a big weakness in center, but we're really focused more on points, assists, threes, free throw, and steals. Uh, and now we have a lot of good uh, three-point shooters. James Harden, D-Book, Donovan Mitchell, Middleton. Literally almost everybody but 
maybe Jacopato can knock down at least two threes a game. Maybe Josh Giddy as well. And got a good amount of steals with Harden, Donovan Mitchell, Middleton, Rocco. So we do have a pretty versatile team in terms of guards. Would have loved to grab another backup center or a, or a center a little bit earlier on that could do a little bit of everything. Someone like Sabonis, someone like Bam Adebayo would have been a good fit. However, the way the mock drafts work is they probably would have played Bam at the power forward anyway for us. So wouldn't have solved our issue. But overall, pretty good draft. I do think we could have done a little bit better maybe, but I'm very happy with this team. That's all for this video. And if you guys did enjoy it, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.